Well, hey, dinosaur lovers. Okay, I got it. some bad news. The, uh, the one that we're supposed to do for number six, there's a page missing. It's this one, and you see all these blank things? You're supposed to put something on it. Well, in yours, see, no head, no thing. Uh, it was missing that page. So what I want you to do, we'll do it later. I will uh, copy this page for you and get it to you, but put this at the back of the bag and we will get to it at the end of the year instead of right now. So I don't want to not do it. We just can't do it today. So number six, we're not doing today, but you can get out number seven, which is this one. Okay, it has a seven on it. it, has a little purple paper and two things. That's the one we're gonna do today. And I'll show you by sharing my screen, if I can find my, here it goes. Um, share screen, share screen. Okay, so it will turn out like this. This one's gonna make a book, okay? And it's called uh, A Dinosaur is Born. So what we're going to do, and let me take this apart real quick. It's this one. So you color all parts of it. Then we're gonna cut it out and glue it onto these pages of the little fold out book that I gave you. So it'll look like a book when you're done. And that's how that's gonna work, okay? The other one is called Prehistoric Pal. And you're gonna color all of these blocks. You can't tell what they are, but then we put them together like a puzzle and I'll show you how later. But first you've gotta color all these things. And it's hard to do when you can't tell what it is, but I'm gonna show you right now. It's gonna turn out to be a dinosaur. There's a tree, uh, grass and background. So try to get it colored and then I'll just color, do not cut anything out. You do not have to color this page at all. We're just gonna glue our finished work onto that page, okay? So you've got two assignments right now, is to color all this. Don't cut anything out and I'll be back. So after you cut it all out, or you color it, you cut out each square, and then you're gonna put them on the purple paper in order. And so the last one, so we started with the mother dinosaur, she laid eggs, the eggs hatched, and finally you've got a little baby dinosaur. So that's how you're gonna do this project. Kinda easy, huh? So after I get it all glued on there in the middle of each of those purple squares, I can fold it up, and it makes it look. And you can have folded it up either way. It wouldn't have mattered if you wanted it folded the other way. It will fold. So if you wanted it like this, so you open it and there's the pages, it does not make any difference at all. Okay? So that is that project. So a few of you are done with that. The other project we're doing is this, um, this one. And so you're going to color all of these squares. Just a second. You're going to color all of these squares. Like, okay, I'm going to show you what it looks like when we're finished. It's going to look like this dinosaur. Right now, it's crazy and mixed up. So right now, good job, Julian. So right now, you're going to color each of these squares, remembering that there's a dinosaur in there. Okay. There's a dinosaur in there. So try to color him all the same. It's one dinosaur. When we get him put together, okay, he's going to look like that. In fact, I'm going to leave that out so you guys can see. The B1 is right there. So that's what I'm looking at. Do you guys see? The B1 is right there. Okay, so that's part of my dinosaur neck. So you color him any way you want to. I think I'm going to be like Addie and use my color pencils today. Okay, we don't always use them, but it's kind of nice. I'm going to make him purple like I did that one. So I'm going to make sure that my dinosaur. Okay, for Julian's. Um, 
internet keeps going off. Okay. D2 looks like this one. D2 looks like this one. So we've got uh, a tail and a leg and part of a foot. See if you guys watch, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm looking at the finished dinosaur so I'll know what colors that I'm working with. D2 is right here. So I've got, this is part of his leg right here. Yeah, you gotta figure out where his body's at because they yeah, can be you do. Dinosaurs can be different colors. They can, but they'll be okay. It's okay. It could be a a rainbow dinosaur. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. A lot of people like rainbow dinosaurs. That's why I love rainbow. Ooh, like the leprechaun today that Mr. Dine was talking about. Remember? Mm -hmm. uh, there's okay. a pot at the end of the leprechaun. I did it, teacher. What did you do? Oh, so good. Okay, so when you're finished with that, start coloring the other one. But I'm leaving this out so you guys can see it and you can find the, um, this says B1 and I look at B1 and so I can tell what in the world I'm, I'm trying to color. Look, teacher. What? Look, I did it right. Oh, Addie, that turned out really nice. Okay, so let it dry before you put it in your folder. I know. Okay, yeah, because they... It'll stick your folder together if you don't. I need to clean my plans. But I want to show you, B1 is right here. It has sky behind it. But D2 is down here. It has grass behind it. So make sure you know what your, where yeah. your dinosaur is. It's sticky. I got to tell you, the first time I did this one, I actually put them out and put them together so I would know what in the world am I looking at, because it's hard to tell. Okay, so C3 is this one. He's got grass and a tree and a dinosaur behind. Is it this one, teacher? Yes, ma'am. I'm trying to show you um, what each of the squares are so that you'll know how to color them. I mean, you can color the colors you want, but it's important to know that's a tree right there, tree trunk, and that is my dinosaur behind. And you can make your dinosaur different colors if you want to. We were talking about rainbow dinosaur a second ago. Sure. Because what color were the dinosaurs? Somebody say nobody knows for sure. Nobody knows for sure. That's the answer. Nobody knows for sure. Blue was a dinosaur. What? Blue was a dinosaur. T-Rex is white brown. Well, you don't know that for sure. Brown okay, A2 is this yeah. one. So I know there's sky back there and part of the dinosaur head neck. You see how I'm showing you? I don't know if you are or not, but in case you wanted to know. Did you find some? Okay, I'm going to make my purple. Did you guys all go get your uh, picture taken today? Yeah. Good. Good. Did you do it last week? I didn't do it. Julian, I hope you get over here because that's the only way I'll get your picture in the yearbook, buddy.
How are you doing? Good. Yeah, this one will be fun when we get it done. When you're trying to figure out what in the world am I coloring, that's why I'm trying to show you guys. I'm going to have the color for dinosaur. Hmm? Yeah. Color for dinosaurs are my favorites. I'm done, teacher. Okay, well, we're not, so we can tell her some more. They could dry. What do you want? Huh? What do you want? That? Pistachios. Okay, I'm going to show you how to um, put it together when we're all done coloring. We've got time. So did you guys get on the Dinosaur Club uh, Seesaw and listen to my story that I read last week? Yeah. Good. Did you like it? Yeah. yeah. Told about a lot of dinosaurs. I'm going to read another one this week. I just haven't done it yet, but uh, I'm recording us right now. So that's the video that I'm going to show. Mr. Boy, I'm done. Okay. Well, I'm not. So you got to wait. And I do want to tell you how to cut this out. We're not going to do it the way you might think. I like the way you're coloring inside the line. Something. How are you guys doing? Good. 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 Okay, so is everybody, how's your dinosaur turning out? Good. Can you tell what's what? This is A3. Oh, that's a tree. Oops. I have a sticky puff. Other project. I'm almost there, you guys. Who's done besides Caesar? I mean, uh, Julian. I'm done. So, uh, you're done with this one? Yeah. You're fast like anything. Okay, I'm almost. Okay, I'm done. So who else is done? Sergio, did you get done with your um, puzzle? Okay, thank you. Bye. Who else is here? Nathan, you done with the puzzle? Oh my God, I was, I was doing this. Okay, that's one we're doing. Okay, um, I don't know what time it is. But we've got time. We've got time, okay. So once your dinosaur puzzle is uh, colored, everybody stop your coloring for a second and just watch. Watch. Everybody look up. Piper, you looking? Okay, Julian, looking? Julian. Okay, once you've got this colored, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take that paper and just pull it apart. Okay, now. Set this aside for a second. 
What did I say about cutting out the big rectangle first? Do you remember that? Watch me, please. Put your scissors down until you see what I'm going to do. Okay. I know this isn't a big rectangle, but trust me, it will turn out better if you cut all the way down the side. Turn it. Cut all the way down this side. Turn it. Cut all the way down here. I hope you're watching and not cutting. Don't cut right now. Everybody, Jeff, Addy, put it down so that you'll see the instructions. Okay, you can do it when I'm finished. Okay, so then I'm going to cut all the way down here. Now that is cutting out the big rectangle first, but we're not done. Please keep watching. Okay, now I don't want all that white stuff in there. Okay, so I'm going to cut down this side. Listen, please. When I'm done, you can do it. Okay, watch what I do. I don't want that strip of white on here, so I'm going to cut it off. Okay, I cut all the way down there. I'm going to get rid of all that white. I don't want that on there. Same way here. Cut down one side. This makes your cutting much easier if you'll do it this way. And then cut that off. Oh, but we're not done. I still got to cut it out of the middle. Okay, now, once I've got them into three strips, I'm going to cut them into individual pieces. So you're watching, Piper? Addie, you're not watching. Put that down. Okay, so watch. I'm going to cut this piece. So look how it's a nice square piece. Cut the white off. Then I'm going to cut this one. Cut the white off. Then I'm going to cut this one. Cut the white off. Now, I don't have to cut them all out to get started. Please watch while I'm doing this. I can cut these out in a minute because these are a puzzle. It tells me exactly where to put them on here. Please watch. This says B1. Do you see it? Uh-huh. There it is. B1. So I'm going to glue this one right down there. I could use a glue stick, uh, which might be even better on this project if you have a glue stick. But if you use white glue, don't use much. But make sure the B1 is upside, not upside down or sideways. And put it right in that square. See, if you cut it out the way I showed you, it'll fit in the squares perfectly. And you don't have to have this one's A2 right there. And because it tells me exactly where I'm going to put it, I can put the glue on this and then put this in there. Okay, Make it real precise on the lines. Okay. This one says C2. That goes right there. Okay, so you find this where it belongs in. Make sure it's right side up. Put it right in there so that the lines match. And then it'll make a picture. Okay, everybody see? And then this one is B2, right there, B2. See what you're going to do? And if you do it right, if you cut it out right, check it out. The lines match. Okay, then you can cut out the next one. Okay, you don't have to cut them all out first because it tends to make a little bit of a mess. Okay, so I'm cutting them out. And then I'm going to glue them in place. Don't forget to cut that extra white part off. So here's A3. I'm going to stick it right there, A3. Okay. E3, that's way down here. So you just match what's on the card. E3. You pull this apart from here, remember she said, before you go. Mrs. O'Brien made a mistake. I made that blue instead of um, green. Well, I could fix it though. D1. I made a boo boo. I was going to fast.
because I changed his grass into sky. I wonder if I can erase that. That's the lovely thing about using colored pencils is that they erase. If you made it the wrong color, oh good, it erases. Put the green in there. Change him from, from grass to sky. Okay. Then you cut out the last one. And throw away the extra white pieces. This is B1, goes right there. And you'll be able to see if you did your dinosaur right or not. A1. Three. You want to start doing and then finally D two. She said it would be Here we go. So he turned out and colored pencils is kind of a nice way to go because you can fix it if you mess them up like I did. Okay, so how did you guys do? Make sure you, you, you know where they're going. Okay. And then you can take it and color it if you want it a little darker in different Dad. spots. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Did you get them all put together right? Yes. Okay. That was kind of cool, Julian. I did brown and green. Oh, yeah? yeah? So you can tell after you get it put together if you need to change anything or add a little more color. If you, if you use a glue stick, you can color on it. If you use white glue, it probably won't color so good right now. There he goes. Right on top of that in the square. Yeah. Ooh, right in the square. Like this? Yeah. Right on it. Like you gotta match it, like match it kind of perfect to the square and like that. That's why. So it can sit together. Yeah. Do I set up like these? Just a second. I'm getting another dinosaur book. Yeah. 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 What letter is that one? That's right, me too. No, it's the same way as the one here. The one that's there. Okay. No. See how it matches with that dots? How's it going? Did you finish, Abby? Um, yeah, do I cut off these? This says B1. Put them all out and glue them on the right B1. spot on the uh, that's B2. page. B2. B1, do B3, B2, B1. B1. You gotta match the letters with the numbers. Three, one. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, let's see how them. B3, C3. Is that C3? Before I'm done, I've got a cool book I want to read with you guys when we're finished with our uh, project. Done. Did you finish? Let me what see, Julian. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Very cool. How about your other one? Show me your other one. Yeah, yours is very colorful. B3. Oh, that turned out so nice, Julian. Way cool. 
Two for B3. B3. It sounds like bingo, huh? It does. It does. Bingo. Bingo. That turned out so neat, Julian. If it's not bingo. real wet, yeah. If it's not real wet, you can put it in your um, in your folder. Yeah. Wet, like that. What do you have? Two. B two. B two. No, no, no. I love this kind of puzzle. It, it really shows these guys a lot. D2, that's right. Fix it right because look, it's kind of crooked. Then the other one's going to sit on top of it. Kind of pull it down a little bit right here. Okay. How you doing, Nathan? There you go. And this one's going to go. It's going to go right here. Nice. Cool, huh? Sergio. That's nice. I like it. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Way cool. You're missing the big body in the middle, huh? Big body? Mm -hmm. What letter do you got? What letter do you have? Oh, what letter is that? Oh, it's upside down, that's why. <laughs> the boys and girls, I'm gonna put you guys on mute. You can keep coloring if you want to, but I have a book I wanted to share. And um, first I'm going to mute everybody just so you can hear the book. But you can keep working on what you're doing, but I'm gonna re uh, read a book for you because a few of you are finished. So, um, so here it is, I'm gonna share my screen again. And uh, this is a kind of a cool book, guys. It's called Sounds of the Wild. So I hope you'll be able to hear the sounds but it's obviously about dinosaurs. This is the front cover. The title is on the front cover. The author wrote the story, which is Maurice Pledger, and the illustrator drew the pictures, which is also Maurice Pledger. Okay, check this out, you guys, you gotta watch. Is that a cool book or what? Can you see Nathan? Watch. Is that cool? Yep. In the glare of the desert sun, a herd of long-necked dinosaurs trudge across the arid landscape looking for water and food. Smaller plant eaters pluck ferns from crags and gullies in the limestone crags, and then from the trees appear a pack of snarling meat eaters. Do you see them? Shrieking and snapping. Around their feet, small mammals scurry and hide, sheltering from the heat and harsh desert wind. That was kind of a cool one. I think this thing's lost its sound. It used to make sounds. And I'm not gonna read all of that stuff to you, but I did wanna show you the rest of the book. What? So is this undersea? Yeah, can you tell that it's in the water? The balmy waters of the Jurassic period are full of life and sound. Streams of sparkling bubbles drift up from the nostrils of marine crocodiles who twist down into the depths after their prey. The silent ammonite that pass in shoals. Close to the surface, ichthyosaurs, ichthyosaurs leap and splash among the waves, but all are dwarfed by the might of the lead sixties and the massive uh, Leopleridon whose eerie call echoes through the underwater gloom. I think some of these are gigantic. Check it out, boys and girls. Is that cool or what? Do you love that? Oh, his neck is way up there. Okay. Lush forests line the rivers of North America in the late Jurassic. Beneath the branches, herds of plant-eating dinosaurs shelter from the midday sun. With a sudden roar, their pieces shattered. A pair of fierce ceratosaurs charge toward them, Ooh. seeking out young and the weak. Behind them, growling, behind them growling, stalk the biggest meat eaters of the time, the fearsome Allosaurus. Remember, Allosaurus looks just like T-Rex. Remember, Allosaurus had three fingers and T-Rex only had two. And check this one out. That's all the flying ones, huh? 
There's a flapping and a fluttering as feathery creatures scuttle through ferny undergrowth. Between the trees, others soar and, and wheel, snatching at insects. Half bird, half dinosaur, these creatures glide through the branches, squawking and chattering. Beneath them, the lake's shore is lined with large dinosaur, larger dinosaurs who quietly browse the foliage by the water's edge. Are they scary or what? Look how little that bird is. Check this one out. Aren't they cool? They kind of jump off the page. Everybody knows him, huh? The forest is alive with noise. Herds of duck-billed dinosaurs make their way between the trees, honking and braying, that's these guys, at each other, keeping their families together. Armored dinosaurs forage in the bushes. Which one are the armored ones? These guys. In the bushes, rustling and grunting. Suddenly, the deep-throated croak of the terrifying Tyrannosaurus is heard. And forest falls still and silent, watching and waiting in hopes the danger will pass. Kind of a cool picture, isn't it? And that is the end of that book. I just thought I'd show it to you. I'm going to show you the pictures again. Are those cool? Because they've got these, these dinosaurs that kind of come up off the page. Isn't it neat? This one's kind of cool. I never think of dinosaurs. I never think of dinosaurs. Daddy, put it back on, on mute. I never think of dinosaurs in the oceans, but they were there too. These guys everybody thinks of when they think of the dinosaur period, the long necks, the T-Rex, the Stegosaurus. And then the flying one. How fun. I don't know about fun. They, they, when I saw Jurassic World, it was scary because those dinosaurs would pick you right out of the water or at wherever you were. And then these guys, kind of fun. Those are the guys we, I normally think of for uh, dinosaurs. Did you enjoy that book? I hope so. That you can unmute now if you want to. I want to see your projects. You can yeah. Let me see your project. Oh, they turned out so colorful. Very nice. Nice, Nathan. Nice, Sergio. Oh, I like that. That turned out neat. Piper, let me see yours. I made an egg colorful. Look. Oh, cool. I love colorful eggs. Oh, that turned out really nice. Addy. Nice, Nathan. Good job. Good job. Did you finish your other one, the puzzle one, Nathan? Nathan, did you finish this guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you showed me. Duh. Yeah, it turned out really cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Dinosaur Club. And I will get to you uh, for number six. There's a page you guys are missing. I will get to you by the end of the Dinosaur Club, uh, and we will do it, okay? So you guys have a really good, fun Friday. I will see you at 1.15 for your reading group. Yes? Um. I'm not finished with my project yet. You know, I'm going to put this on the Dinosaur Club, and uh, you'll be able to finish it then. Ah. You can finish it now, you've got about 15 minutes. You've got about 15 minutes, you know, 20 minutes before our club, I mean, before our reading group. So you have time to keep working on it, okay? Good to see you guys. I'll talk to you later.